right, as uh, we continue on our musical journey, uh, one thing that we have to uh, revisit often in uh, American music, which is what we learn a lot here in the United States, um, is the importance of um, spirituals, okay? Spirituals are the songs that were created by African slaves after they were brought over, um, and it was a mixture of the African culture mixed with the white American Christian culture of the time. And these songs often spoke to um, some sort of coded language, talking about um, taking me home, um, uh, knocking at the door, um, all these coded things for death and heaven, right? They wanted to be saved. They wanted, so the one I'm thinking of right now is, didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Okay, talking about Daniel in the lion's den, like, this is from the Bible, sort of from the Bible. And like, if he did that, then can he, he can, he can save me from slavery, right? That was, that was the thought of the time. And another one of these spirituals that has been turned into a very well-known folk song in the United States is Follow the Drinking Gourd. Now, if you're in fourth grade, you know this song because we took a few days and we talked about this uh, story, talked about the song, and then ended up playing the song on our recorders, all right? And so we're gonna go through just one verse of the four or five of the song, and then we'll talk about what it means in just a moment. Okay, so this is Follow the Drinking Gourd. Uh, I'm gonna sing um, the refrain, and then I'm gonna sing the verse, okay? And you're going to listen and try to figure out what it means. Okay, here we go. verses online anywhere and explore what the text means. So if it's saying follow the drinking gourd, it's always a coded language of some sort. It always means something that is not obvious to everyone. So uh, when you think of follow the drinking gourd, I want you to think of something you would see only at nighttime. And if there were no clouds in the sky and you looked up, what would be in the sky? So you have the moon and you have the stars. Now the drinking gourd pertains to a very specific minor constellation in the sky. Drinking gourd. A gourd is like a squash or a pumpkin. And if you drank from it, that means it was like a spoon or a ladle. Now what in the sky looks like a spoon or a ladle? The Big Dipper. And so this song tells the listener to follow the drinking cord, follow the Big Dipper, because there's a certain star that points in a certain direction, and that direction is north. And if you were a slave in the south and you wanted to escape, where would you go? You would go north. And so this song indicates for the slave or the escaped slave to follow the northern star, follow that last star in the Big Dipper or the drinking gourd. So, that's a really cool one, and I want you to do a little bit of research on this one. Find out um, what other verses there are and what those verses tell us. What is this whole song? Okay, there's one word. We use these today when we're driving around, or if you're trying to find a place, like if you're driving to another state, you use this, and it has roads on it, and it has towns on it. It's usually a big piece of paper, but nowadays we use our phones, okay? This song was that. This song was a map, okay? And I want you to figure out what the rest of the map is, okay? Have fun. 